Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, uh, as you may notice, uh, based on my principle, I put uh, those important uh, lecture and topics that has a significant impact on diagnosis and management of the patient. Those lecture, I make it as a public and everybody have access to that. And this uh, topics is the same. So uh, I try to stick on my this rule and it will be great if you do your part and play uh, your role and share it. Now let's uh, do it. The most important measurement in ECHO is not EF, TAPSI, TAPSV, tissue Doppler, none of them. The most important measurement in ECHO is LVOT diameter. Why? Because LVOT diameter <coughs> effect on the <coughs> measurement of the stroke volume, aortic valve area, shunt grading, and so on. So that is very important which spot and what time of the cardiac cycle we measure uh, LVOT. Let's go see first anatomy of aortic root. As you know, uh, aortic root has four spots, sinotubular junction, sinus wall salva, uh, and aortic ring. Aortic valve ring has two spots. One of them we call above the side of the connection of the cusp to the wall. The side of the arterial here, this line, we call it ventricular arterial junction or surgical. And the below one that is toward the LV, LVOT or facing to the left ventricle, we called it echocardiographic annulus, or virtual basal uh, ring. In many measurements, we use this diameter, virtual basal ring, in many, many cases and for LVOT measurement diameter. Later, we go over them. Here we have the echocardiographic of the aortic root, as you see, sinotubular junction, uh, sinus wall salva, and two uh, surgical and echocardiographic aortic uh, ring. We go, usually, we go one cent, half to one centimeter uh, beyond the ring. Why? Because uh, in most patients, in most patients, uh, we assume that LVOT geometry is cylindric. And first one centimeter uh, shape is rectangle. So any spot in the, that, uh, that area will be uh, rectangle. Now let's see here how we do it, uh, the measurement. First, we go uh, get it good plaques. A good plaques is the one has almost ultrasound hit the perpendicular to the anterior and posterior wall of aortic root. Just with fanning heel toe, you can make it. I explained to many of those clips. Second, decrease the zoom to the, uh, decrease the depth to the minimum. Almost here is the best. Then use a zoom. You, when you, zoom, you use the zoom, ROI should cover almost this area, part of the septum ascending and part of and, uh, anterior mitral valve leaflet. Then hit the zoom, then optimize your image. The best optimizing image that you can see the sharp border anterior and posterior border of the LVOT. When you got it, that one clear with gain, with all optimizing, wall filter, everything, and has clear border, then you go at the mid-systolic or end-systolic time of the cardiac cycle that um, usually correspond to the ST segment, as you see here, ST segment, or 
almost peak of the T wave. Whichever that give you largest diameter, doesn't matter, mid or peak systolic. Whichever you see on by eyeball, see, okay, this spot is the best and largest diameter. You go and then you measure the line that is perpendicular to the boat wall. Perpendicular to the uh, boat wall, inner to inner. That is your the correct measurement. I noticed many takes and I know I saw a lot of the study that still some take they are confused about perpendicular measurement. I put one more time mention here. Imagine this is your LVOT, <coughs> uh, anterior border, posterior border. And the perpendicular means your line of the measurement should be make right angle on two both wall. So on these three, only the green one is correct way. This is wrong. It doesn't matter orientation of your uh, structure, whatever change this way or that way, still it should be perpendicular to the boat wall. In all of them, the same uh, technique and concept. But don't forget, all this measurement is based on assumption that the geometry of the LVOT is cylindric and circular shape. And it's correct in most of the patient, but in many uh, significant number of the patient, LVOT in reality is not circular and o is oval shape. In those cases, the best technique is uh, 3D or you can use it uh, by X plane is not bad idea if you have good quality image or CT scan that I am going to talk about that in another aortic stenosis lecture. Now let's practice some uh, uh, an examples. Here we have a classic aortic stenosis. How I can say this is a classic aortic stenosis. This is systolic at close to the ST. Uh, aortic valve completely sclerotic calcified and not opening because it's sticky and not opening. You don't see opening. And you, another character is this calcification that uh, whenever you see this calcification and below the aortic valve, you know that is the right spot because exactly you, uh, your uh, sector sound pass through the commissure of the left coronary and right coronary cusp. Uh, in this case, measurement, you have to go and find the border anterior and posterior. Here we have aortic uh, valve ring in virtual basal. So we can measure here to here, inner to inner. Or what about this spot? Can we measure this spot? Why not? Just don't include calcification. Sometimes this is spot full of the calcification. Here is a little clear the take measure here but still we can measure here what is the rule just don't include calcification what does it mean find the we go cine loop and find the border of the anterior mitral valve leaflet and give it one millimeter maximum two millimeter the thickness of the uh, mitral valve leaflet as you can see here this is mitral valve leaflet so go perpendicular inner to inner almost this spot, not there, here. Do you see this anterior mitral valve leaflet? So follow that one and give it to that. So this is your correct measurement in that typical classic aortic stenosis and measurement LVOT. What about this one? Here, if you see two measurements, we had one, the red one, 228 and 0.7, and this one is 26. Which one is more correct? Look at the direction of the wall and our line of measurement. So we can see very easy this red one is overestimating because it's not perpendicular, completely off. And the green is more closer to the reality, but if I want to measure very correctly, I measure this line, exactly this spot, but it gives you almost the same number. As a general rules, as a general rules, whenever you measure LVOT and your LVOT diameter is less than 
8 cm or less than 18 mm and the patient is not skinny small body if it's not is average i mean average patient if your measurement is less than 18 mm almost 100 person your measurement is wrong and you are underestimating go get it off access different view make it a little more clear 100 percent your me measurement will be high don't forget this practical tip another one what about short axis can we measure on short axis sure if we have good PZAX and you can see cup cusp cooptation and ring circular almost shape and you see the border why not go there and measure inner to inner at that the line pass through middle of the RCA and goes to the commissioner of the LC, LCC and uh, non coronary cusp and measure to inner. This will be almost uh, perfect and correct, acceptable. What about this one? As you see, many patients has this pattern. Uh, has stenosis and the most important here the uh, LVOT is uh, diverging diverging means uh, making wider so which spot is the best for measurement uh, this is but is the ring is the best uh, spot for measurement go again to the highest diameter then measure at the uh, ring or echocardiographic annulus of the aorta or virtual basal ring Perpen uh, that connection hinge of the aortic valve to the hinge of the aortic valve this is your correct measurement in those cases what about this imagine you have a patient you don't have plaques and the only view you have it is almost kind of the off axis between apical tree and plaques what what about this case what should we do you have three options actually you have to try three technique first turn the patient supine or more oblique or put a head side elevation and try to get as much as possible uh, classic plaques and make it this one almost uh, horizontal or sound perpendicular to that second option go subcostal subcostal make the patient supine head against side elevation try to get it short axis and the same uh, I mentioned measure on short axis aortic uh, ring and LVOT you can take it as a LVOT and the last one if you, none of those uh, techniques didn't help you, still you can measure on this one. Why? How? It's very easy. First of all, use uh, maximum uh, optimizing. Second, try to with heel toe make it as much as possible a little more horizontal and use zoom on this area and then go at the right spot and then measure perpendicular. And this will be almost almost 100 percent accurate too if you have good optimizing image and correct border and you get it the largest diameter view and you with sweeping uh, you have it just when you have these cases do it two or three times different a little higher lower find the best and largest diameter and you will be fine what about this case that is one of the most uh, complicated cases that we have many times you will uh, face with this such cases i'm not going to talk about this case in aortic stenosis lecture i will explain in detail and how we approach in such cases and don't forget please share it have a wonderful time